Hey guys, welcome to yoga, our yoga week, day one. And today we're going to be focusing on core. So this is like a lot of stretching, a lot of flexibility training. This is our foundation week. If you've never done yoga before or dabbled a little bit, this is just for beginners. And I'm one of them for sure. Today we're focusing on core. So I'm going to start off just with a, with a uh, cross leg sit. I'll try to show you some modifications as well. Um, I have to do a lot of modifications anyways. One of the most important principles of any sort of yoga or stretching is breathing. Focusing on inhaling through your nose and exhaling through your mouth. Just take a moment to get comfortable. Try to sit up tall. Hands on knees if you can. I have my knees, eyes closed. Just try to turn your awareness inward. Mindfulness, you're going to hear these words. Try to turn your attention inward. You're always bombarded with stress, phones, all these outside noises. I really want these, these couple lessons that we do with flexibility, balance, yoga, whatever you want to call it, is just a way to relax, to calm down. With every inhale, if you can try to inhale and exhale both through your nose, that would be great. Try to find a real evenness to your breathing. If at any point it feels like it's too much, just come back to your breath. Open your eyes, stretch your arms up, try to create length. Reach up through your fingers. You should feel some length through your sides. Lengthen up and breathe. A little bit of a twist to the right, left hand to your knee, right hand behind you. Don't force it. should feel good. Try to lift up off your lower back. With each inhale, sit up taller. And with each exhale, feel some of that twist. Don't push too hard. It should feel good. Come back down. Stretch the arms up again. Reaching the arms up. It helps us facilitate length. We're trying, to, we're trying to stretch that spine, spinal length. Right? A lot of time we're sitting in chairs all day, right hand, left knee, left hand behind you. Try to keep your back straight if you can and turn your rib cage to the left. Good. Come back down. You're going to come back down to all fours. Hands and knees. Palms flat. These are called cat-cow stretches. Look forward just a bit. Just a nice arch. And then you're going to do the opposite. Drop your head down. See if you can lift your lower belly up into your body. This is the cat stretch. And now you're going to try to link it with the breath. So cow, inhale. Cat, exhale. A couple more times. Inhale. Exhale. One more time. Exhale. Now come to neutral spine, but I mean just flat back, just relax. Bring your knees a little bit closer. And I want you to start by reaching your right leg backwards. So 
If you can't lift your leg, keep your toe down, just like this. Try not to arch or round your spine. Feel your lower belly lift up. Okay? If you can lift your leg up, great. Now try to reach your left arm forward. So we got core and balance right now. If you need to keep your foot down, that's fine. The foundation of all this is your breathing. You're really trying to expand your spine, expand your back. And down. Now, left leg backwards. Right, you can go here. You're not going for height. You're going for length. Don't think height. Think back. Good, set it down. We're gonna sit back, we're really basic pose, it's called child pose. You're gonna press your hips back to your feet. And as you do that, stretch your arms forward. Start to drop your head down to the ground. The cool thing about child pose is it's a great pose to rest. If ever you're doing workouts or exercises and it becomes too hard, Come to this pose. You should feel stretched through your side. Great for your back. You should feel really good. We're gonna. A lot of you've already done this. This is just kind of like a training video for those that haven't done a lot of yoga. We're gonna be going to downward dog. I know we've done a lot of this. This was a little bit slowing it down though, right? So really, you're really turning your wide, wide fingers, wide shoulders, about shoulder width apart, little bit of a turn on your, on your, with your wrist, and all you're doing is here right now. Don't almost straighten your legs right now. Drive through your arms, palms are flat, stick your hips way up and back. Drive your arms straight to the ground. Don't, don't strain your neck. Your hips are going up and back. Always think length. Put your knees down. Take a second. Right, that's mostly your arms right now, shoulders. Now we're going to add the second part of the pose. So remember, hands turned out a little bit. Curl your toes. Lift your knees up and stick way up in the air. So this is part one, right? We're not straightening our legs yet. Neck's, neck is soft, arms are strong. Now from here, just straighten your right leg. Try to feel that in the back of your right leg, your hamstring, your calf. Take a few deep breaths in and out through your nose. Just experience that stretch, then switch. Bend your right knee, press your left heel down. Keep focusing on those hips. Don't lose that initial part of the posture. Bend both knees. Set the knees down. Take a moment again. Just let your arms rest. Take child's pose if you need. We're going to do it one more time. Okay, so that was one leg at a time, right and left. Now we're going to try straightening both legs. So again, wide, spread your fingers wide. Curl your toes, lift your knees, lift your hips. Spinal length is all you're thinking about here. And when you're ready, try to straighten your legs. It might not be straight. Mine probably aren't. And that's okay. This is great for balance, this is great for flexibility, this is great for strength. Find that breath, find your breath.
and walk your hands back to your feet. Just fingers down, shins if you want. Take a few deep breaths here. Just forward fold. You can have a slight micro bend in your knees, okay? Not huge bend, but you don't need to lock your knees. Right? I'm not straining my neck. I'm not straining my jaw. Just breathe. Try to shift forward into the front of your feet so you're towards your toes so your heels aren't too heavy. Good job, guys. Slide your hands to your shins. Glance forward. Pull your chest forward. Again, length. Really try to flatten your back. Pull your chest as far forward as it'll go. Don't lock your knees. Slight, slight bend. Belly lifted and lengthen. Take care of that spine because I know a lot of us are sitting down way too much during the day. And drop down. I want you to start to bend your knees. Start bending your knees so you're parallel. Feet are pointed straight. Chair pose. Right now I want the feet hip distance apart, not together. Don't over arch your back. Lower belly should lift up. And your most of your weight should be on your heels, not your toes. Don't strain around your neck. Think about reaching. You don't need to look up. Look forward or down. Stand up. Hands to your waist. Okay, let's go to the top of your mat here. Feet still hip distance. Face this way a little bit so you can see. As you bend your knees, sink back to the heels. Remember, your belly should pull back. Let those heels be heavy, right? No weight, not much weight should be on your toes. If you're feeling strong, challenge yourself. Go lower. Think about reaching. Don't turn around your neck, though. Fold forward. Work your legs towards straight if you can. Hands up to your shin. Flatten your back. Take a full deep breath here. Awesome. And in front of your heart. We're going to try to put all that together with our breathing. Okay? So on an inhale, chair pose. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, hand to shin. Exhale, fold back down. Chair pose. Inhale. Stand up. Hands to your heart. Again, inhale, chair pose. Exhale, fold, hands to shin, inhale, exhale, back to chair pose. See if you can sink a little bit lower if you can, stand up, hands to your heart. Two more times, inhale, exhale down, inhale, lengthen, exhale down, chair pose. Think way down. Stands up. Last time. Inhale. Chair pose. Fold forward. Lengthen out. Fold back in. Chair pose. Oops. Off the balance here. Let's hold this for a second. And up. Hands to your heart. Good job. We're going to work on a little bit of balance here, which I'm not great at, but I know it's good for me, good for all sports. 
You're going to try your best here. Just try to hug your right knee in to your chest. If you fall, it's okay. We might, some of you might just stay right here. I, I would often just stay right here. If you fall, come back into it. We're going to add a twist here. If you can, keep your left hand on your right knee. Okay? So option one, left hand, right knee, right hip. More advanced, reach back and look back. Everybody falls here. Some days you have it, some days you don't. It's okay. Keep your knee up, come down to center. Now see if you can keep your knee up on your own, hands to your waist, and feet together. Other side. Hug your left knee into your chest. Give yourself a squeeze. This doesn't look fancy. This doesn't look hard, but you micro muscles and your balance, your fast twitch muscles. All right, roll your shoulders back. All right, so now you're keeping your right hand on your leg. Oops, I, come, I fell. Come back into it. Find that breath. Left arm back. And breathing here, right? Stand up tall and twist. And then, whoops, falling again. Keep myself. Keep your knee up. You're just bouncing on your right foot right now. And down. Well done, guys. Okay. Feet together, top of your mat. Open your feet, hips distance. One more time, chair pose. Look down a little bit, sink lower. Fold forward. Work your legs towards straight. Hands to shins. Take a full deep breath here. You're going to put your fingers down. Step your right leg back. Fingertips, if you can here. Back leg is really strong. And there should be a 90 degree bend in your front shin, vertical. Again, you're always thinking length of your spine. Pull your chest forward. We want to take care of our spines. Don't look straight down. Step forward. Hands to shins, deep breath, switch sides. Left leg is going back now. Right, you want to you put your leg far enough back so you get a 90 degree bend here, high in your fingertips, you're driving through your back leg, pull your chest forward, and breathe. Hands to shins. Flatten that back. Lengthen your spine. Step your right leg back again. We're going to charge up these legs. Long stance. Nine degree bend. This time, if you can, run your arms down by your sides. If it's too much, put your hands on the floor or on your knee. That's okay. But if you can, don't sag down. Lift your belly up a bit if you can. Pull your chest forward. Your arms should be active. Breathe. Fingers down. Step forward. Hands to shins. Flatten that back. Full breath. Switch legs. Left legs back now. 90 degree bend. Strong legs. Run your arms down your sides. Good 
One more deep breath. Maybe lift your arms a bit higher if you can. Fingers down, step forward. Hands to shins, lengthen. Starting to see the pattern here, I hope. Right leg back. One more variation here. Nine degree bend again. We're gonna start to twist. Plant your right hand on the floor. You can start by taking your left hand to your left hip and you're turning your chest open. Okay, so stay here if you want. More advanced, left arm goes up and you're twisting. Don't crank it, right? You wanna feel that space in your chest and your lower back. It shouldn't hurt. Fingers down, step forward, top of the mat. Hands to shins, flatten the back, really lengthen. Last side, left leg backwards, lengthen. We're gonna twist again. My right hand's going to my waist, right? And when you're ready, reach that arm up. Awesome. Hands down. We're going to come back to all fours here. Good job, guys. From hands and knees, we're going to start from plank position. But we're going to start with our knees down, so a modified position. Okay? So you're going to walk your, from here, you're going to walk your knees back about six inches. Right? You want to try to keep your back flat. So this is plank, but with your knees on the ground. Right, so you should still feel this in your arms here. You'll still feel this with your, even with your knees on the ground. Walk knees in a bit, take child's pose for a bit. Relax here, soften your head. Okay, back to hands and knees. We're gonna do full plank now. If you need to do the modified one, that's completely fine. Stay there with your knees on the ground. Plant your hands. Step back. Lower belly's lifted, chest pulled forward, legs are strong, strong spine. Try to breathe in and out through your nose. From here, downward dog. So you're going here from plank, and then you're going back. Remember, you can bend your knees a bit here if you need, but you're going from plank, and you can see, plank, downward dog. From downward dog, shift back to plank. Pause at plank. Back again, downward dog. Now we're gonna to try to link that with the breath. All these different poses should be linked with your breathing. Inhale, plank. Exhale, downward dog. Again, inhale, plank. Exhale, downward dog. Two more times. Inhale, plank. Exhale, downward dog. And last one. Inhale. Exhale. Good. Pause back to plank. You can go knees down if you need. And all the way to your stomach. Release top of your feet. Run your arms down by your sides and try to lift up everything. Try to lift up your legs, try to lift up your chest, your arms. Look kind of funny, but again, think about 
stretching your spine, lengthening it. For your back, I want you to feel strength in your back here. Helps with posture, especially for those of us that are sitting in our, been sitting in our chairs, on our couches, over this quarantine. Take care of your back. Turn your head to one side, take a break. Don't fall asleep. Again, up. One more instruction here. Don't push your stomach down. Try to lift your belly if you can. You're not trying to um, curl your back. You're trying to lengthen it. So I'm focusing on my fingers going down. One more breath. And down. Head to their side. We're going to lay on our backs now. Roll into your back and plant your feet. Turn your palms in to face each other. Get your heels, get your heels close to your butt so you can almost feel them with your, with your fingertips. Press your heels down. As your heels root down, start to lift your hips up. I can't get my my back too far off the ground here, but my heels are pressed down, my hips are being raised. Try to push your chest up if you can. One more or two more deep breaths here. Come down gently. We're going to finish with some a little bit of core stuff. Core is really good for your posture, really good for your spine. Extend both legs up. Take your hands behind your head. Lift your head and shoulders off your mat. I'll face this way for you guys. So, just a, just a little bit up. Push up through your legs. Try to hold it here for five. Three. Lift higher if you want to challenge yourself. You might feel your body trembling. That's very, very normal to tremble here. Last two. Hug your knees into your chest. We'll stay with this. Bend your knees 90 degrees this time. Lift your chest up again. If it's hard for you to keep your feet up, plant your feet. Lift your chest up higher and turn to the right. And hold. Feel your abdomen squeeze. This is for your obliques. Come down. Take a breath. Exhale to the left. Come down again. Do with the breath this time, okay? Pause, inhale, exhale to the right. Inhale, center, exhale to the left. Don't rush. Two more rounds. One more each side. Extend both legs up. Last five breaths. Reach as high as you can. Reach. Breathe. Don't hold your breath. Push. Last little bit. Reach, reach, reach. Oh. Hug your knees to your chest. Plant your feet on the mat. Reach up. 
one leg at a time, stretch both legs forward, and just lengthen through your whole body. Sorry guys, one second here. Good job, good job. Awesome guys. Awesome guys. Give yourself a nice hug. We're gonna roll side to side here a little bit. We're gonna finish where we started. Stand up, cross your legs. You can always sit on a block or a pillow here if you need. Take a moment just to get still again. Close your eyes. Come back into that mindfulness. Trying to slow down those thoughts. One more deep breath. Great job, you guys. That was lesson one for our flexibility balance yoga training. Really proud of everybody. Great job. See you next time.